Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Mossley Farm! Rowan, Rowan, my wonderful son, it is only day three of our adventures here in the brand new beta update to Stardew Valley. Son, what do you think about that? Yes, you are so adorable. Oh my goodness, I should talk about, I should talk about possibly getting you a sibling with your mother. Hmm. But welcome back, everyone! So last time we left off with my farm being a complete mess. I feel like a complete new, but we definitely need need to get the farm cleaned up. That is the order of the day, Leia, so don't worry. I know everything's a mess. The Christmas decorations are still up, but I'm gonna handle all of it. I promise. How are you today, my my dear? So, what are we planning this season? Well, funny you should ask. I kind of made a huge mess out of all of the various spring seeds out front yesterday, but I promise it's going to look better by the time I'm done. I, I, I promise. Yay! Good morning to you too. All right, let's get her her morning coffee. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and since all of my precious tea leaves have been transformed into pearls, I'm gonna go ahead and drink some of this coffee too. So there we go. That should hopefully give me a little bit of a speed boost and a little bit of an energy boost because we were up so late last night. Oh my gosh. Okay, speaking of energy boost, hmm. I'm not missing quite that much energy, but we might save that chocolate cake that is left over from the Feast of the Winter Star for uh, some snack for me to eat. Uh, let's go ahead and make something yummy because I really love my tradition of making my family some fresh food. Let's do pancakes! We're gonna do pancakes! And speaking of pancakes, I'm gonna go check on the chickens and see what is in their chicken coop. Their eggs probably need cleaned up for sure. Where's my closet? I know one of these chests is supposed to be like my closet where I store all of my clothes. Um, I think it's gonna be this one. No, okay. All of them are a mess, that's fine. Let's just toss these in here so that my clothes are put away for now. And I basically just have so much to take care of, oh my gosh, including taking down the Christmas decorations. <gasps> but look, look you guys, there's little sprouts on my farm. Oh my goodness, hen hen, my dears. Isn't this just wonderful? Oh my goodness. And I need to get you guys all a whole bunch of grass growing all over the front here so that you've got plenty to eat too. If I put down these grass starters, you guys are gonna munch them down so fast. So I better, I better just make sure. Oh no, there's go, there my grass starters. Oh, they're just eating it. They're just, oh, merciless, merciless. They're just chomping it down faster than I can put it down. I'm gonna have to go buy more and hopefully we can win this. Hopefully, hello Zinya. Hopefully I will be able to outpace my animals at keeping the grass growing, but it, it might be a bit of a battle, that's for sure. And who knows, maybe they'll come down here and focus on the grass down here if we're lucky. So cleaning up the farm, that is one of the first orders of business, uh, but I do wanna come in, oh my goodness, <laughs> and gather up everything. No, don't eat the void egg for crying out loud and gather up everything in the hen house so that my wonderful chickens, my void chickens, <gasps> I don't have a blue chicken yet. I need to get one of the blue chickens. What am I thinking? No, stop trying to eat the egg. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's come over here. My gosh, there's already a ton of stuff just flying all over the place. All right. We'll grab this and this. Okay, and we'll put down some eggs into the mayonnaise maker, because why not? There, and I probably need to make more mayonnaise makers. I remember back when we were still in season two, that was something that drove so many people up walls, and I can't blame you guys. Oh, and I shouldn't use the iridium eggs. Here, I should use the, oh, <laughs> the normal quality or the gold eggs. There we go, <laughs> as I trip over one. Oh, there we are. But yeah, I remember that's something that used to send people up a wall, is that I would forget, oh, Noodle Doodles, guess what my beloved cat? I finally have my Iridium watering can so I can give you that water now. But I would forget to uh, actually go ahead and make more mayonnaise makers to make use of all of those eggs and hopefully I won't forget now. But all right, we've got more water. Let's take care of my big patch of cauliflower. And I guess part of my goal is going to be going around seeing if we can unlock any more of those special events that we can actually have with so many people in town. And I also want to grow some stardew plants, so some of the star fruits, so that I can use this Junimo hut, this future Junimo hut, uh, with my personal rule that if you guys have not been following along since season two, you probably don't know. No! 
I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> if you have not been following along since season two, you probably don't know, but I have a personal rule that I am not going to allow myself to have a, um, what is, what on earth is here? To have one of the really cool Junimo huts so that they can come and help me on the farm until I have one of the giant crops. And now that I have this pumpkin, I actually need to follow up by having the star fruit. So <laughs> we're currently working on that right now. I totally planted those green beans in a terrible place because it's going to block me off every time. But you live and you learn, you know what I mean? Hello, my beloved chicken. All right, I have a whole bunch of parsnips. You know what? That's a good place as any to get started. We'll go ahead and try to get all those parsnips in the ground today. All right, we'll come up here, come down here, and we'll come over here. I wonder, like, what else am I going to learn about everybody in the village? I really love that kind of the most. Gosh darn, I did not mean to do that. But I really love that kind of the most. Just, like, learning new things about all of the characters. The fact that Willy actually raises a bunch of beautiful crabs inside of his house. Like, that's so cute! Maybe I should go and poke Elliot's house. Maybe I'll unlock something new about Elliot. Or what about Marnie? Let's go visit with Marnie and we'll see if we're able to unlock something special with her. All right, let's do that. And let me go ahead and take out this piece. I guess I should probably take out all this grass too. Ah, but it's so hard because it's so pretty. All right, and then down we go with the parsnips. Have to be careful to ignore that side. There we go. Wow, I have so many sprinklers. If I was a lot more organized, I would be able to really make good use of this farm. So, all right, out you go, grass. Forgive me, you're beautiful. Personally, I absolutely love you, but I need to be a little bit tidy and organized. Grandpa already thinks I'm so perfect that he won't let me have the Statue of Perfection. Uh, and I should probably go buy a ton more grass starters at some point too. And look at all of my teeny mushrooms growing. Gosh, they're adorable. All right. Onward, onward, onward with tending to this farm. Uh, I don't think there's any special events going on today. Oh, but I might want to check. The TV sometimes has really important messages unexpectedly. Oh, and Noodle Doodles and the cat, or like or the cat and the chicken are getting along. That's adorable. So let's go check the TV just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And let me poke this. Yeah, Kent's birthday is in a couple days, but otherwise we're in the clear. Weather report. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Whoops, I just chucked the whole TV, that's fine. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, will I seek hidden knowledge of this update? Does that count? Well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Ooh, ooh, you know what that makes me think? We have a few new artifacts. We have a couple minerals that I haven't discovered, one of which is probably the rainbow prism thing, but the other of which is who knows what. And I happen to have a whole bunch of, uh, oh, let's take out the Christmas tree while I'm over here. <laughs> and I happen to have a whole bunch of geodes that, that could use cracked on a, a very lucky day. Thank you very much. I think I actually waited too long and I have missed my chance to go to Clint, but let's run over there and see just in case. Come along, Rose Stone! If only there was like a whistle so that I could call you to me faster. And I probably should just go buy a absolute ton of seeds at some point. But up to see if Clint is still there. I think he leaves at three if I remember correctly though, so I probably missed him. Car says, maybe? <gasps> He's still here! <gasps> All right, guys! Oh no, guys! Why? <laughs> Why? My pockets are overflowing with all sorts of things. What have I done? There's not going to be enough room. Oh no. And I need the clay now for my special pots. Oh, this is terrible. What have I done? All right. Hey, Clint, do you want... Here, I'm going to eat this cake in front of you, actually, Clint. I apologize. Uh, I needed the energy. It's been a long night. But would you like this pizza? It's from Jojo Mart when it was like run down so i hope it's not too dusty or something all right let's process some geodes <sighs> and hopefully on a lucky day these will result in maybe a new mineral for us and if it doesn't then i can live with that all right come on oh the thunder egg i love the thunder egg i still wish that it hatched into a thunderbird all right gold shiny things this bodes really well coal oh lemonstone 
more coal? Maybe not the best. That's okay. Oh, hey, that's a pretty thing. It kind of reminds me, the fairy stone kind of reminds me of Abigail's hair, to be honest. All right, copper, copper. Got it, got it. What's that? Have I had that before? Sandstone, yes, I have. <laughs> Iridium ore! Oh my gosh, okay. Help! <laughs> We're so close and yet so far. Here, I'm gonna get rid of the copper ore and, and, and the chicken and the, the, the eggs. I'm gonna get rid of the copper ore and the eggs. And we'll see where we can go from here because i'm really hoping maybe we'll get something we'll get like super lucky this is bad i i'm kind of addicted to just like risking it all <gasps> hey what's that have i had that jasper yes i've had the jasper darn it all right more gold got it shiny stone geminite got it coal okay all right what do we have here amelite okay we're down to two Oh no, I don't have room in my inventory, which means it's going to be a thing I have not had before. Okay, I already gave him a gift too. Um, forgive me, forgive me, um, uh, Cape Carrots, I'm sorry. All right, we're down to two geodes left. One, it's a rock, oh my gosh. Come on, be the rare thing, it's a lucky day. Nope, it's more soapstone. Okay, so my pockets are now overflowing with stones. <laughs> Which is great for my personal museum that I am building. And for those of you who aren't aware about my personal museum, perhaps now is the perfect time to introduce you. All right, let's ride over to my museum and dump these in the chest over there. Oh gosh, look at this. We're already tripping over trees. <laughs> then I need to come in and clear out some of the trees. I need to make my paths usable. I need to make sure that my dinosaurs will have enough grass to eat as well. Oh my gosh, what a busy time. And here we are, guys. So this is my personalized museum. It is a modded shed that thankfully still works. I was so worried I was going to lose everything. And it is where eventually I am going to show off all of the special items. I'm going to show off fish. I'm going to show off so many different things that we can have. And now I can include an entire beautiful area full of garden pots so that we can pretend it's a botanical garden. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. All right, let's put this stone card. You know, can I put this in here? Let's put it inside of here because this would be really good in the museum for now. And I'll go buy more of them to decorate maybe around the farm if I want to. All right, let's pick up this piece of jade. That is jade that I actually grow so that I grow. Well, I guess you could call it growing jade since it's in the crystallarium. But that's jade that I actually go ahead and harvest because I am trying to get it ready for the dwarf in the mines. So I will need to go visit him. All right, let's come up here. Just tidying everything up. Gosh, I wish my son Rowan could come out here and watch his mom hard at work. I wonder what he does during the day. I don't remember what I did during the day when I was two, so that's probably fine. And I don't think Rowan's even technically two. All right, come along. And we're getting more and more. I love how my, for some reason, the hoe is held like so high above my head right now. <laughs> oh, and I need to get more of the normal sprinklers to line up around this area too. I might actually move a couple of the normal sprinklers if I need to, so I can have my big beautiful flower garden for the bees over here. All right, so let's put down a whole bunch of tulips because those sound gorgeous. And we're just gonna line up the tulip bulbs all over here and I'm gonna run out of tulip bulbs just like that. <laughs> Do I have any more tulip bulbs in here? <gasps> you guys, oh my gosh, you guys, look. Look, I have star fruit now. I have star fruit. I only have four of them. Oh no. And there's a fifth star fruit and it's struggling to grow. I need five star fruit in order to be able to make the the special Junimo hut. So I'm going to put those carefully in there and lovingly watch over them. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about that. It's about darn time. This area needs cleaned up too. I have so much to do. My farm is a giant mess. I have so much to tidy up. We have coffee beans ready to be harvested. And it looks like my cactuses with my pearls. My broken, my broken plant, my pearls are ready to go. I cannot believe that. It is kind of cheaty to have these pearls popping off of my cactus. Uh, because once upon a time, as you guys know from yesterday, 
these were my green tea leaf plants in season two, my modded green tea leaf plants, but they apparently are pearl giving cactuses now. I honestly don't know what to think about that. Uh, but you know what? In, in the sacrifice of tea, which I love, and the, the way I have to eat coffee, which I hate, in order to have a little bit of, of zip quickness around my farm. I'm going to say it is a gift. It is a gift from the plants because they know my loyalty to them. They know my love of the valley. They know how my heart is in the valley. And, and I, I honestly, you know, the other day Chips told me, my beloved Chips, who is my partner, best friend, and love of my life, told me that he actually almost got me a Junimo plushie for my birthday this year, but it wouldn't have made it in time. And he was like, well, so I figured, eh, I, why bother then? And I was like, why bother? I don't care if it would have arrived late, it would have been a Junimo plushie. So I was quite distressed, as you can imagine. I came so close to getting a Junimo plushie. So yes, my heart is deeply embedded in this valley. And, oop, there we go. So I would be, oh dear, that's a whole chest. Um, was I supposed to pick that up? Well, I suppose nothing was inside it then. So I would, I'm gonna say that clearly something out there knows how much I love this valley. And that is why I am now allowed to have pearls. <laughs> Just pearls. Uh, let's see. And here we have some seeds. These are our autumn seeds. These are our summer seeds. I'm actually going to make it like teal blue because that makes me think about summer more so. And then these are supposed to be like our spring seeds right there. And this is supposed to be like all of the, oh, there's so much clay in here, yes! I can start my experimental little flower farm inside using mixed seeds. Yes, it's perfect. I can keep it inside of the house where I had the Christmas tree. Leia's gonna be so happy. We're putting more plants inside. It's I'm sure it's what she always wanted. It'll be perfect. I just need a lot of wood, which means tomorrow we will probably spend some time cutting down some trees since I have no wood right now. Not enough to make the beautiful garden pots that I am dreaming of. Uh, all right, let's see, what do we have in here? Everything is just a mess and there's so much to clean up. Why does that make me so happy? It just makes me so happy. Here's some wood. Here's my iridium rod. I guess I don't need it or my lava katana right now. Oh my gosh, Rosestone. Everything is just chaotic. All right, let's put this away. I guess I could put the bait away in here too. There we go. I could use up some of my energy. Oh, maybe I should use up some of my energy cutting down trees right now then. Because the more trees that I cut down, as terrible as that sounds, can you believe me talking about cutting down trees so casually like this? Oh no, <laughs> no, point this way, little Siri. You've got it now, there you go. But the more trees that we cut down, the more flower pots I can make. Yes, I'm so excited. I would love to put a whole bunch of flower pots all around my farm. And if we take a little bit of time to get the fields ready, then tomorrow, whoops, then hopefully tomorrow I will actually just be able to go over to Pierre's, buy a whole bunch of potatoes. Because those of you who are longtime members of our channel know the potato story. The potato love story between Chips and I. And if you don't, I highly recommend that you stick around sometime and you ask about it in a stream or something because it's adorable. So also potatoes are great money in Stardew Valley. So I should probably go ahead. No, my sprinkler. I should probably go ahead and get a bunch of them planted. So there we go. Huh, and actually I wonder if I can get enough iridium ore that I could possibly upgrade my ax. No, sprinkler, go down. <laughs> because that would be very useful if I could upgrade my ax. All right, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. Little Siri, you're not very coordinated after our time away. There we go. All right, we've got this. And it's almost time to go back to bed. I can't believe how big our fields are. I honestly cannot believe how big our fields are. <laughs> they're so much harder to take care of than I remember because they're just so big. All right, almost there. And then tomorrow, hopefully most of them will still be nice and tilled. We can even grab some fertilizer and we can throw it into the fields. And then we're gonna plant hundreds of potatoes. I don't even know how many potatoes we're going to plant, but maybe we can make something potato related tomorrow so that we can talk with Leia 
about all of the delicious potatoes we're going to have to eat. I haven't even milked my, my poor goats or my cows in several days. The poor things are probably miserable. I feel badly. There we go. Tidy up the edge of that field. Wonderful. Oh, and we missed a spot right here. There we go. So my green beans will continue to grow. All right. I'll see you in the morning, Rose Stone. Ah, oh, gosh. And now my pockets are just full of nonsense again. Full of nonsense. Pep, vinegar, and nonsense. All right. Scooch these out of the way. <laughs> this is such a mess. Oh, well. I'll get the swing of things eventually, everybody. I, I know I will. Do I have anything to add into Leia's special chest? I will put in this hardwood. I will add this duck feather in case it inspires her to possibly craft something awesome. And we'll climb into bed. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another beautiful day in the valley. And let's see what kind of money I made off those pearls. Come on, money. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, pearl giving cactuses that break everything. I'm just going to roll with this now. This is awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.